Erase your fears. You're at the Port Thrift Store. This is a revisit. This is the visit to the Port Thrift Store, which is right in Port Colborne, Ontario. And you'll see some of the street views. It's on the in on the corner of the intersection right beside the canal. That's the side street. The canal is on the, just to the left of that long building on the left side of the street. The lower door, there's two doors and there's a ramp between the two levels. So you can enter it from either level. Uh, this is the section on the lower section has the books, LPs, DVDs, and CDs, videos, whatever. The VHS are included. Might have been some beta. I think I, you'll see a, a yellow cased, security case, beta case, beta, beta cassette. Um, they appeared to be from a rental. Well, you're going to tour with me vicariously at the Port Thrift Store this time. So a little bit of the artwork around there, some uh, frames. They have a bit of a th Christmas focus in having a, an island of some clothes, a uh, group of shelves with uh, trinkets and hard goods. There's the beta. Uh, it looks a little different from VHS, not dramatically. Those are the LPs. I wasn't searching through those. I'm sure they've been picked through some DVDs and CDs and VHS. And we're back to the Christmas clothing which is surrounded by the books and LPs. So there's some stairs to go to the upper level. There's the shelving of uh, the Christmas goods. Almost that they created a Christmas section. Beside the stairs on the other side are the children's clothes and toys and a bit of a segregated area. I think it kind of works well. So some of the Christmas goodies, uh, from plates to mugs to statuary, you can create your own lovely scene at your home. All fun and games until Santa checks his list. In this house, we've been naughty, apparently. So some of the nice Christmassy feeling items. It's not just one, there's good selection. And beyond that, we have the other hard good shelving with uh, Ceramics, glass, wood. They are all decor pieces. And then we have the uh, small appliances. And then we see the other side of that same aisle with all the glasses and mugs, even cutlery. So this is on the lower portion of the store. going to be moving up at some point soon enough and just after those those uh, purses we went up a ramp wasn't very much to see on the ramp there are they do display some artwork along there and up there on the upper level they've got the clothing the racks of clothing. Uh, there wasn't much in the men's area, to be honest. 
it's um, far more in the women's. Not even a huge amount of children's, but there's a quite a bit of women's uh, clothing. Knowing what I was going to be doing a, a couple of weeks after this was done, I'd got some items to try out. And a genre I don't usually deal with. I got some vintage uh, women's clothes and I got some items that were not Hawaiian shirts. The results of that are still inconclusive. These are items that are locked up and some of them are auction items. So you have to go and check the book at the counter. They had a whole cabinet of Coca-Cola and these were on auction as were these. So these cabinets are on the outside wall from the clothing area. This is a youth piece. Um, I did actually obtain that one. I went around after I did the video, rough videos, and obtained what I was going to. Not so much at this store, as I had obtained more so at the previous shop that we did on the same day, which was the Goodwill in Port Colburn, the video just prior to this one. And some sporting goods wear. I think I also obtained that along with that. And I, they, they have this, on the end of the clothing rack, they've got these uh, costume jewelry pieces, the, the necklaces in particular. They have another area where they've got some uh, other costume jewelry as well. You wouldn't have seen much if they hadn't done the still video. Still, because the video was just a glancing shot of it. And then they have uh, it's a, an old child's crib, it, crib from mid-century or earlier they're not a type that are permitted to be used that way anymore so you can use it for displaying your children and dolls for example erase your fears that was one we did pick up uh, this was an interesting piece um, didn't get that I already had something similar to this, so I didn't get this one either. But you get an idea of things that they do have. These are on the ends of, of, of a, a solid rack of women's. There's that crib and some other items. Uh, some of these are also on auction, so you have to check the book, including those um, wooden table tables, coffee table, and end table. And some collector items in here. Collector items out there too. Uh, there's a bit of a glancing view of the counter. Uh, continuing with Christmas, they've got the Christmas trees. They've got some tools. banjo, things of that sort. These are considered to be vintage. They're a little more expensive, uh, priced beyond what I think is reasonable, but hey, each to their own. It's a Mickey Mouse. And the GM Goodwrench had gotten fairly good 
amount of bidding on it. Actually, it started pretty high as well. Um, I don't know where it's ending, so I'll leave that alone. But if you really wanted to, I, don't, I think it's probably finished its auction by now. And these, these are the uh, vintage and, and higher priced items. I guess they place them here so they're easier for them to see from the counter. Wanted to get a slightly better view of what they were. They didn't have a huge selection of shoes, but I did like the way they display the shoes that they do have. I'm not sure what the story is on as to why they have so few shoes. Maybe it's just that's all they get. And there weren't a lot of hats either. And these were the footwear and other items that were in the glass case accessible only by the staff at the counter. So they have rings and that. Then you have some more of the costume jewelry that's not locked up. And a couple of baskets of costume and all oh, that says keychains. So they're somewhat related. Well, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this revisit to the Port, Port Thrift Store. And I'd like you to consider subscribing, perhaps uh, hitting the bell so you get notifications. Thanks a lot, folks. Bye bye.